Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting, another wondrous, another magical propaganda cast from your host, Imperial Dane. We shall be having a one vs. one on the Sermoski in the summertime, or more like autumn. The leaves are brown and such, and I'm pretty sure even in Eastern Europe, when it's summer, the trees in here got green leaves. No, I might be wrong. I might be wrong, and these are socialist trees. Trees of Comrade Stalin, but... Enough about that, we'll be watching Cruz fighting here for the Soviet Union, comrades, and the 5th Guards Mechanized Corps fighting for the glory of the Soviet Union versus Obscura fighting for Germany, Deutschland, and the 3rd SS Panzerdivision Totenkopf. Our forces increase. Grenadiers on the way, points are being secured. Doctrines are spearhead, mechanized assault und Jäger Infanterie versus Cruz with mechanized support, armored assault, and terror tactics. Cruz. The terror of the Red Army. But back to Obscura. The third SS having a particular Oh uh, well, nature to it, which rather resulted in actually having rather high losses in its infantry. Much higher losses than even the most other infantry losses, which we were notorious the for being high overall throughout the SS divisions, which of course they could have fought in particular after a certain point, when they generally were actually the divisions to have the largest infantry regiments attached to them. But the third SS in particular was notorious for that. In particular during the days of its initial commander. Well, I can't quite remember, but it was apparently a bit of a toss pot anyways. Really did not care about losses at all. In fact, managing to lose his own son in the initial battles, I believe. But we are we are looting grenadiers here, numerous of them for Obscura. We have liberated the objective. Points are being secured. Conscripts heading over there, there, and there. Points secured here by some pioneers. More conscripts arriving. So far, no further sign of anything. We're seeing an MD42 following up here for Obscura. Kind of so far seeming to work in the same area. That is good. He's not spreading out too far, although at the same time, this point is leading, being a bit vulnerable. But so far, no sign of Cruz making a run for that. There we go. The Schwerz MP1 is arriving. Conscripts also moving up. Coming under fire here. Point there secured. We are ready for action. Bit of quiet. Grenadier Looks like our screw is taking up a slight defensive position here, working perhaps to draw in the conscripts. And there we go. Khan hit K, sing out as the conscripts find themselves in the middle of the road under fire there. Honey is cutting off resources there. More conscripts are arriving, close laying in hard. MD42 following up there, gunning up in the center by the bit. Cemetery also coming into engagement. Definitely a lot going on already. Further units being around. We're noting here special rifle command up for Chris. So three conscripts and then the special rifle command. Should be interesting. Conscripts moving in the MD42 sitting up behind an old wooden cart. A Panya bargain. And there we go. Conscripts though. Barely getting out there, roaring to safety. That was damn close. The other ones are falling back. Right here, the army is in contact with the grenadiers. They will not have Molotovs due to the Special Rifle Command. Of course, Obscura does not know that. But there we go. Forced to run away. Point secured. And one secure the centre. Quickly sneaking up there with a minor force, and we are seeing snipers pretty early out here for Cruz. The sharp shoots it, the Hecken shoots it. A second MD42, so three grenades, two MD42s are rather stable, but also offensively sort of formed. Start from Obscura, but at the same time, it can be used defensively as well. So it's a it rather strong one in several regards. Though it is one of these slightly heavy ones. We're seeing Bart Wiley up here on the flank to cover from any initial attempts to push in there. Nice job there, good use of Bart Wire. Stahlgedracht, I believe it was called. Bart getting engaged here by conscripts before they're able to finish it, although still it will funnel them into a much smaller area, which should make them be easier to deal with. Grenier's moving into the civilian center, conscripts falling back, sniper moving in slowly, but surely. Tagging up is being conducted here by Obscura, and we are seeing an M3A1 scout car arriving here for Cruz. Yes! Lightest machining going into the hands of some of the grenadiers. 
And Constant Tank after the cat in the gun is out in the middle of the road. Hardly good. And snipe us. There we go. Take up shot and fell poor Heinz. Scout cut flanking on the gun is there. Lightest machine gun is up for the out of it. Exposed here. There we go. Another sniper shot. Friedrich is taught. And looks like a country squad is being ready to sort of flank in here and do some harassment. We're seeing a mortar following up here. Light to help deal with the snipers and whatnot. Not a bad idea, of course, you know. I'll provide a bit of light artillery. Support, which is always helpful. So three grenades, two MD42s, and a granatenwerfer. Es werft die Granaten aus die Feind. Might you try and get off a Panzerfaust here? No, it looks like there was no Panzerfaust in sight. Or at least at hand. And they're gonna be dead. Scout car escapes. Sniper's also. Penal troops moving up here from Cruz as well, adding in some heavy infantry. Or at least heavy armed infantry. Nice drive grenade went off there. And both of these squads heavily depleted are pushed off. md 42s in a slightly curious position here, covering several angles from sort of the corners of the church. Behind the fences, interesting, interesting, all at the same time, there's a bit of a gap right here. So I'm not entirely sure why he's setting up not directly like that. Fuel point about to be taken. Bankrupt. A sunny teats. Stationen. Looks done to me. And penal troops taking up position inside the scout car with a flamethrower in hand. Constantly coming under fire from the MP-42 by the church. Fuel point falling to the Soviet Union. Troops in between force. Schnell, schnell. And I imagine this. There we go. Medics being attached. A first aid post. There we go. Scout car moving in. Straight into the MP-42. Which sadly cannot overpower it. Other MP42 standing up. Firing as well. MD. Oh well, Scout Cash dragging off close to the bullets. More to firing away. Oh, firing into the rear there. Nice bit of damage. Lots of mortar rounds going down, but mostly hitting inside the cemetery. And there we go, breaking the barbed wire. Engaging down here, versus the conscript. Wipe grenade going off. Like to make a nice company up. It's done. Reinforcing. And a small force here supported by a sniper squad flanking in. Actually taking up inside the house here to sort of provide more cover support. Good idea. Pioneer down in the ditch. Scott Car though has taken heavy damage but at the same time was able to do quite a bit of damage after closing in on Mission 1. Put in nicely. Troops slowly reinforcing. Granatwerfer team. Granatwerfer team. Moving up. Awaiting fire mission. Snipers falling out of the building, perhaps avoiding a fate as mortar targets. Certainly can't blame them. Looking a bit unhappy there though, since they had to leave the house. Yes. Mines going up, lots of mines in this vicinity by Cruz. Good, good. Good use of Minen. And a Mitrelschützen Panzerwagen arrives here. Grenadiers ready. moving in. Contact. Finally, big gate here by the scout car. Sniper slowly moving in. Grenadiers fighting versus up the conscript squad. Another force moving in to try and push away the conscript up north. Granata and therefore firing away. With limited success so far. Grenadiers versus conscript up north. Looks like the half is going to move in support. Sniper shots there from the house. Nice job, but coming under fire there from the mortar. But quickly shifting out the building as well. Blowing a hole in the roof. But the snipers made it out of there. Very big hole in the roof, actually. That's not going to be fun when the rain comes. There you go, half-taker finally arriving up north. 
That's going to force the conscripts away. All the gunners themselves are not looking too good. Conscripts up by an MD-42. Mortars are slightly shifting back here. Scout coming in from another side. MD-42 might want to shift and some forces need to be shifted back here. Get the gunners into the half tech and quickly rush them down there. I think it would work out nicely. MD-42 firing directly at it. Point blank also the penal troops have abandoned the half scout car for now. Troops advancing up. Half track there. Also, penal troops actually holding a defensive position here by the fuel point. Four two setting up. Mortar rolling a bit back. Kus definitely keeping up pressure. In fact, it's time to look at Kus, who has gone for armored assault. That should be fun, and we already, of course, know he's got radio intercept already, so he's got an idea what goes on here. Farm of Skoda. Which means he's definitely going to have the intelligence he's advantage. Oh, the half a pioneer squad gone in seconds. Donatin therefore continues to fire away, and he's playing in from the north. Oh, Quickly oh, suffering loss of the snipers who gained it and won that very same moment. Half taking the supporting, keeping them reinforced, keeping them going, ensuring they don't have retreat. Quick rifle grenade flying through the air. Orders. But oh, anti tank grenade connects with the scout car. Panzer Grenadier arriving, thanks to the mic of Radio Interest of the course. Who yes. knows he's got to expect Panzer Grenadiers now? You need something demolished. Enemy forces are capturing our supplies. Infantry. Scout car rolling back, and that's getting close to veterans too. Good lord. What? Sniper just continues to pluck away at German lives. That was close. Oh, there we go. Vengeance for Germany. And that's why you don't mess around with a mortar crew around. You never quite know if it might strike you from above. So nice use there of the barrage. I imagine that was what he was trying to catch the snipers. And indeed he did. So there we go. Ooh. Overdrive straight into the Pioneers. Vicious right there by Cruz. Vicious. I don't think those Pioneers will make it back home to the Fatherland. Also, a support weapon company. I'm actually getting a maximum. Interesting, interesting. So it looks like he's basically going to be relying on these two buildings and then I'll just rely on armor but on T-3045's eyes too for still having a nice complement of heavy weapons like mortars or field guns. Definitely a nice, interesting strategy here, sort of going in connection with the armored assault doctrine from Chris. But also good use of the scout car and the penal troop inside. Splendid, really. There's quickly encountering the Maxim, mining up the roads. Rifle grenades take out one third of the unit. Obscura needs to push in a bit harder here, though. Of course, we could have the Gunners inside and then get behind the Maxim, but instead, it seems to just engage from the front. I think that's a bit of a waste, to be honest. Pioneers running to trouble. Do see mines, because obviously, he's clearly expecting Kusnow to mines, and there we go. Maxim pushed away. And there we go, a field gun has arrived for Cruz now. If he works his way towards the T-3045 most likely, and Engineer more mines, good lord. Very and thorough play here from Cruz. Very thorough with the mines, that is good. Built. Unless you call you the Germans, in which case you're probably thinking it's quite bad. Which of course is quite reasonable, I expect. Panzer is running to the troll though, taking heavy losses. Veterans one there and attack from some angles. MG's doing what they can here. Scout cut or oh, half taking what's called. Granatin never finding a way. Church taking a hit there from the mortar. MG42 on the intersection but pointing the wrong way. Might have to turn now. Mortar's been pushed away. And he's now to push away one country squad. Veterans you do right there. Another Molotov. But suddenly getting straight now by two MG42 in the middle of everything. Quite the big cut down here by the Ghanese veterans and their machine guns and their rifles. Now this continues to be lost and there we go, repairing the scout car. Bloody well done, Cruz. Yes, comrade. Very close to being able to get that pair of T-3045s and likely he's going to be setting up resources for that now. 
So it's basically just needs to kill one more fascist or two, the and then, you know, otherwise he's got the field, he just needs a bit of manpower, and there you go. A pair of tanks, and at the same time we are seeing that Obscura is heading out to support Armour Core. Mines there unfinished. The fascist pigs are trying to kill us! There we go. Our T-34s have been outfitted with 85mm guns. And there we go. Got it. To repair damaged vehicles. More mines up and a demo charge as well. Cruise is definitely not holding back. Enemy forces capturing Looks like Obscura's in fact been the knife from that fuel point for some time. Rather than fortunate in fact Obscura having a bit of trouble holding the map so far. In particular, the scout car causing quite a bit of a headache here for Cruz. I mean, Obscura actually. Ah. I'm going to see it. Did a bit of damage to Ultimate Weapon Force out of the building. Not looking too good. They need to fall back to the half tank, which has not received any repairs as of yet. And Panzer is moving in. And scout car arriving. Full on showed assault coming in straight into the MG42. Mortar rounds going in. MG42 being pushed back here. MG other MG42 sitting up. My bot into the intending our pissing rounds. Into the scout car. Overdrive on it. Please be careful here. Panzer Vast could happen now. Troops advancing into maybe small area. Panzer Vast going up and then the MG42. Oh, good lord! Veteran joined the MD42 and there we go, penal troops score also wiped out. Heavy losses all of a sudden inflicted there on Cruz. Rather heavily inflicted there, two clearly scored to the MD42. Could do a bit of damage there for the half tank force reinforcing. Can't get moving in but into the MD42 as well. Molotov goes off, T3045 arrives. Can't get are getting shredded. And all the units here climbed up as well. There we go, more trans going in. Veteran 2 for the Gunnars and Verfa. On the other hand, currently though, there's one great weakness here in the hands of the enemy has found us. Obscura, and that's the fact he's got absolutely no anti-tank weapons, no packs or anything, and he's got two T-44 85s rolling in intent on death and destruction. Enemy forces are neutralizing a sector. There we go, crashing through a truck. Big Panzer fast, there we go, Glazer, oh, getting right now, ow! Veteran did three grenades for the light machine gun, lost, that is a horrible loss. Mortar rounds impacting on the engine block, but does not penetrate. We're going to see most likely that Scrooge is going to be forced off the field. Quite unfortunate that. He's got no armor, no tanks, no panzers. Kai Storm gets shot. Is ready for well, there we go, Panzerkampfwagen. Fear has arrived. Rifleman ready. Point down there being secured. Rolling hit, crushing every bit of brick and mortar in its way. In this case, stones. Looks like he's not going to engage them directly, and he's not for now. He's going to deal with some infantry instead, perhaps. T-3045 moving in. Swiftly advancing through the fields, and a Panzer with Penalna arriving as well. Constant rushing ahead. And it is an MD42 arriving. Half to again finally the repairs it needs, and looks like a Panzer is going to be lost here. Also, now an IS2 is up as an option here for Cruz. Soon. He's definitely got the close to the fuel enough, sufficient, and the map as well. Full on assault here. Pack needs to move up. Panzer fast up. Panzer Pack needs to fire. There we go, T-3045 takes a hit. If only the Panzer IV was here to fight a bit 
bit of additional fire. Both T-3045s managed to escape the wrath of the anti-tank gun. Panther 4 doubling back here. Mortar rounds flying in from Obscurus. Mortar looks like Kusa's actually getting a mortar of his own. But over to Obscura. No doctrine as of yet. Not good reading, but the 20 minute mark, you really need a doctrine. But right now there's nothing. It is a bit worrying. Action holding up nicely here with the field gun supporting as well. Pioneers taking the brunt of the fire. Action see the Maximus quick to escape. He could consider getting his Duke to back his forces up with for another Panzer IV, but his Duke would definitely add some more vicious fire to deal with the armor more rapidly as well. Oh, moving the T-3045 almost in there. Close, close. Perhaps sensing something was out, but I need to take a hit there. Ready for orders. Oh, there we go. Actually managed to see it and shoot in the rear. Okay, like holding up much more support, and there we go. Mortar moves in, slowly but surely. And these guys are awfully close setting up that mine. And there we go, a storm which is in fact now arriving. No, a panzer watch too. Panzer of Stuart can't quite make up his mind. We are down to 300 points. And there we go, Mortar Round went in. Oh no, he has actually set off the mine, so. Pioneer sneak about there, spotting the field gun. Mortar opening up the enemy fire troop by the southern bridge. Pioneer's going to need to get out of there very, very quickly. Also noting a ton of munitions for a cruise at the moment. Panzer 4 moving up. Pack Mad also wants to move up. Same with the MD 42. Panzer has managed to somehow avoid most of the fire there. We, oh! Conscript sneaking in behind! Straight into a lot of MG fire. Getting absolutely shredded in the middle of it. The road and looks like Kus should not be expecting those to come home for dinner. And there we go, they are dead. Torch! Archer Storm Gestutz has arrived. We need to pick him up to the front line. Panther 4 needs to move up the line of fire here from the field gun. But at the same time, Panther Squad going to be really clear out the field gun. Works with. Panther 4 taking heavy damage. Stuart needs to move up. Veteran 2, there we go, though, for the Pack 40. At the same time, an ice 2 has been sent in to reinforce the situation here. Come on, Storm Geschutz. Looks like the Panzer IV is blowing up the field gun here. Not intent on recapturing it. Instead, going to destroy it and deny it to a Soviet foe. Pack might want to take a better position where it doesn't block all armored traffic. Out. Yes. That's a small suggestion. Still both T-3045s are functional. Now he's got an IS-2 as well. That is definitely quite a bit of firepower we can level against his opponent. Maxim making the harassment attempt, but instead finding himself under the shift at swift attention of the MD-42 here. Close to fetching T-3 by the way. And a full in great news and repairs as well as second pioneer squad at this stage could be a good thing. So could a doctrinal choice as well. Spearhead would be nice with the pants of petition. Reconnaissance old flight to get an idea of the same potions opponent situation, but of course also the mortar half tank or a tiger tank are nice. Mechanized shock silver like artillery barrages or tiger tanks as well, or you know, yeah green from super man bushes and these and whatnot. There we go, eyes two charges in and could be charging straight. There we go, heavy line of fire. Target weak point, target weak point, target weak point. Ah, shite it. Ice 2 man's escape there with nary a damage. It's thick frontal armor. Targeting off every shot fired at it. Here's here taking a nice hit from the Ice 2. 
If only he'd use target weak point. There we go, a little flag exposed. And there we go, all of a sudden takes quite a bit of damage. One third of its health is gone. And again, target weak point. And a Soviet air strike goes in. The Soviet air force sending it. And at the same time, T-3045 moves in. Stu does take an awful lot of damage. Stu so far, they're holding the armor advantage here in the village. Pushing in from as many angles as possible. Using the cover of the Soviet air force to push further. I'm going to need to be careful here. There we go. Pack up up. Stu, please stop up. Fire away. Fire away. There we go, T-3045 out of control. Pack 40 close to Veteran T-3. Highest two advances. There we go, Veteran T-3. T-3045 close to death. There we go, Highest two rear exposed. Looks like not to be the target. Still, both T-3045s are now gone. Destroyed. Highest two continue to fire here. Panzer the leads need to retreat. Taking some nasty losses there. Ice 2 moving in slowly. More saving not actually doing heavy damage there to the stronger shots as the cannon shots. Gouging to the rear and the Panzers were wasted. They should have retreated. They should have retreated. Falling back. More pioneers on the way. That's definitely going to be necessary with all of these heavy damage on all the vehicles. Clusto has suffered some losses. Well, he's going to have a hard time main Maintaining this kind of map control he has at the moment. We have new units. He's lost a lot of infantry. He's lost two T 3045s as well. Penalties need just need to retreat. Come on, fall back. Not when you know there's an ice two marauding around. Engine damaged. Armor using the Grenadier squad there and multiple spotted. Nice hit there, Heinz. More repairs there on the IS-2. Getting another Panzer IV, not entirely sure that's what he wants. I mean, with an IS-2, you generally want more Sturmgeschutz. Since they are really in a much better dealing with such kind of higher armor with their higher penetration than the Panzer IV, but also higher rate of fire and higher range. Combine that with target weak point, and overall they're just a much better choice. Also currently, Cruz's infantry is less of an issue than the IS-2. So again, I would rather say another Skoog. Either that or saving up for some doctrinal heavy armor again, either going spearhead or mechanized assault. Getting either, uh, perhaps getting a tiger tank, but no, and not. And the four going in, and we're taking a, se a second ice shoot out from Cruz to heavy so tank. And the four needs to fall back. Alternating a second pack here, which needs to fall back though. And there we go, moving in. Target weak point. Target weak point. Veteran two. Already there, the pack is cleared out. Student needs to move up. Where is it? There we go, but no sign of target weak point. Half check arrives to make reinforce. Also now, ambush is available. There we go, main gun destroyed. Now he chose target weak point. You know, a bit late for that, I'm screw up. A bit late for that, but we see the second ice two moving in. Pack Ford needs to turn, turn around and fire target weak point. We know a heat round. Heat round, fire fight. Oh, Scheiße. Stu does gain Metro G2. Ice two close to destruction. But the Panzer IV here is rather outdone. Stuck, 
Come on, fire heat round. And we go, another Ice 2 blown up. Needs to pull back the armor and get it repaired. Though again, I think that Panzer Ball could have been saved against with the usage of target weak point here. Ultis is trying to consider repairing his anti-tank gun since they're likely going to be damaged in particular this one. But, mid-game analysis time. The current situation is what? Currently, I mean, if Screws just managed to break a massive so armor force, two T-35s are down and two IS-2s are down. He's done a lot of damage. He's also got a reasonable infantry force, though he actually needs to get more infantry. At the same time, his opponent, Cruz, actually has rather little left. He's got very little infantry. He's got some support weapons, and that's about it. So right now, it's the, really the chance for Obscura to break back and you know, do some serious damage. Also, at the same time, he needs a doctrine. I mean, you really can't go that long without a doctrine. And at this stage, you know, anything goes, I would say. Although, I mean, for different reasons. This one is more if he actually you know, really decides to play some infantry on the infantry. But otherwise, you know, with his armor, right now, Spearhead would be the best choice with the Panzer Titian, which allows him to sort of keep his tanks better alive, I think. Also, assault guns, reconnaissance overflight, mortar half tracks, tag tank fragmentation bombs overall would be quite handy. So, personally, I think at this stage he should go for it, but he needs, he needs to go for something to sort of further reinforce it. And I think had he gone for it earlier, he might have been in a better situation now. Also, needs to repair all of his equipment. Includes not just the tank and the assault gun, but also the packs. In particular, he doesn't want to lose that pack 40 Veteran T3. That's definitely going to hurt if he loses that, because, again, the thing to remember about a Veteran T3 anti-tank gun and also the fuel gun is that to get increased penetration. Which means they're definitely a bit of a threat to enemy armor. In particular, heavy armor begins having some serious problems with a Veteran T3 Pack 40. Oh, but otherwise, he needs to begin taking background. I mean, noting here in terms of victory points, he's rather behind and he needs to fix that schnell. So, that definitely something needs to be looked on and into right now. He can't really hang back much, but again, that's going to require some infantry. Also, looking in terms of damage, I mean, he's clearly heading again as to all the heavy armor absorbing a lot of it, but again, you know, overall, Cruz hasn't quite had much, but in terms of kills, actually pretty close. I mean, it's not like, you know, all bad. But again, you know, Cruz also could have perhaps worked a bit on preserving his armor. And at Cruz, again, we're noting barely anything left at the moment. Barely anything. Barely an infantry, barely anything. The only thing he's really got going for him is perhaps some more of the mines he laid down around here, which could certainly delay Obscura from making too much progress right away. He's also got one Sturmwick attack ready, which if properly utilized could actually probably do some lasting harm to Obscura. And certainly his situation is definitely looking dangerous. I mean, if Obscura pulls off the things right now properly, I mean, he could absolutely rob Cruz off the map. Because, again, he's got the armor advantage now, he's got the infantry advantage, he's got the support weapon advantage, he's pretty much got every advantage. But again, he's not got a doctrine, and again, Cruz does have something, so I suppose one thing he tries actually setting up for some more heavy armor, and certainly he's got most of the map, so if he plays his card correctly, he can probably try and slow down Obscura as much as possible from taking back any of the map, and then sort of you know, play out until he can get some more heavy armor. So he might want to work a bit better on that. I mean, the IS-2 here would a bit wasted when he sort of tried to charge straight into where Obscura was strongest. I think he should have tried to sort of lure them into one-on-one -on -one engagement with the IS-2s, so or at least, you know, combine them into one strike. That probably would have been a better chance instead, you know, one IS-2 than the other. And, oh, great, I just lost both of them, sort of, seemed to happen there. Also, I definitely think Obscura should also, if he expects more IS-2s, he should definitely get another suit, because, again, they are going to be quite the handy choice in dealing with them. So, I mean, a few options there for both players. But definitely, Cruz right now has got a bit of an uphill fight if he wants to win this. But again, you know, it's not all out. Again, he's got most of the map, he's got most of the victory points. And again, he's still left also Obscura a bit reeling. So, again, if he plays his cards right, he can delay him until he can get something out that can give Cru Obscura another headache. So, let's return We're to the fight. Builders, not killers. Why are they shooting at us? Replenish. And there we go. The Soviet Air Force launches another assault. That could definitely cause a bit of a headache. Initial pass there by the Sturmovic. Rather low flying here. There we go. Murdering pioneers and doing some nasty damage to the Sturmovic shots. Then he's taking up positions at the church of school. Not making a move to start taking some points again. They are ticking down. Ticking down. The enemy is down to 100 points. Definitely should look into that. Maxim setting up. Mortar firing away. 
field gun on the way. And there we go, the storming actually firing into the open side of the church. Ouch. Repairs on the way. Also, the MP42 could stand to be up in here and grab some more territory. And overall, I mean, Obscura just needs to begin grabbing some territory. Oh! Veteran is going to squat down again. Going straight there, but it's actually going to hurt the most of his infantry. And again, Obscura will need more infantry now. Mere infanterie! More boots on the ground to hold back the Bolshevik tide. Also not entirely sure if that's the kind of church you want to be holding up in with a machine gun. It's not exactly looking very structurally sound anymore. But that's just a thought. Troops firing away. More demo charges by the looks of it. Although we do see a mine from here, but he could set it off. Panzer 4 ready to push forward to Deutschland. Finding there the maximum target church. Gun is moving up, Pioneers following up. No further infantry, more to find away. Pack firing away. Stug firing away as well up there. Looks like the demo charge was set off. A desperate fight inside the church. Looks like they are looking to get out of there. Oh! Looks like the Panzer 4 managed to destroy it inside the church. Good shooting there. Meanwhile, Sturm just shoots running armor to up here. Floating resources here, come on, you need troops. Truppen! Fifty points less than fifty compared to what Cruz has. I mean, he's definitely got a lot more rope to give slack off, but again, he needs to get something out there. He can't afford to, like, hang around with that much resources right now. I mean, he needs to take some ground and as much as possible. In that regard, you know, that Cruz is actually having quite some success in actually stalling him. In particular, that storm attack really did some damage again, forced Obscura to be more cautious initially, but again, more infantry. The enemy is encroaching on our territory. And he's here firing 26 kills. More to continue to fire away. Close to veterans in three, that's definitely going to be helpful. Conscript taking a few nasty losses, more troops pushing ahead. Two field guns out by the way here from Chris. Definitely not taking the panzers lightly. We could consider barrage this close, and there we go, in fact. Oh, can these need to retreat? Nice hit there from the mortar though. Gaining veteran to free. Can he see three trick shoot look shoot shoot? Yes, comrade. Sixteen kills on the Granatin Werfer. Looks like infantry is on the way. Bunker going up here by the way, that's definitely could be a good thing. I mean he's lagging infantry, so setting up a bunker to hold up things is going to be good. Also looks like he's finally shifted away the MD4 troops from down there. Panzer can he's arriving here to assist the third SS. Continue loss in fit here with Morton. Looks like a pair of T 35 could be called in, but looks like more likely he's going to be aiming for the IS 2 with much thicker frontal armor. So Morton also firing away. There we go, Veterans 3 increasing the lethality of that MP 42. And an IS 2 is already available. Lots of mortar rounds flying around, but there we go. Half checking up to enforce the front lines. Whooping. You have Good. orders. Your predecessor died. A but really, three IS-2 so far. That's a bit of a rarity to see that many IS-2s actually being utilized throughout one fight. Mortar ready for order. 
Still, I would like to see another Sturm Gesicht now, really. And not just because, of course, I like Sturm Gesicht personally, but even enemy against an Ice 2, really, they are one of the best choices to go for. Comet sneaking in here. Clever, clever there by Cruz. Clever. Pantagonist just need to get the devil out of there. Pack 4 is being slowly pushed ahead. Man handled in. Pantagonist needs to retreat. Pull back. Don't stay in the line of fire of that. Soviet heavy tank. Down to one man. Come on. Up, screwed up. Pull back. Pull back. And make a doctrinal choice if you'd be so kind. Also, this bunker needs an upgrade. Nate's holding up here nicely, getting off a nice shot on the troops at the end, up from inside the cemetery. Nice little pussy shonen. And we can just hear the, you know, the whistling of mortar rounds and from both sides. Ah, what a sound. Troops enforcing. Gonna be close there to taking a rather fatal hit. The generally any hit from a mortar is considered fatal. Give running nice cover support here alongside the Panzer IV. Lots of machine gun fire as well. Can't have just been shredded. Nice hitting on the field gun. More troops Not finally nice. arriving here for Cruz. Panzer IV pulling back a bit and looks like Cruz is pulling back his eyes too as well. Alternating, he's actually setting up the pack 14 in ambush mode so it doesn't get immediately spotted, which is nice. An ability of veterans the three Panzer Abwehr Kanone. Ah, yes, also means you can actually order them to hold fire as well, but also for example means if there's any reconnaissance he won't be able to spot it up there. Or for example flanks in here and then he won't be able to see it as well. So I mean there are some opportunities there. Also a mine right there inside of Skurus territory. Demo charge. Hold the line, we are losing territory. Uh, again, he might want to be careful about fighting from that house. That is not really looking structurally sound either. In fact, most of the village buildings are now currently not really looking very good for fighting or habitation. Counter, there we go. Veteran one of the punch come back here. Counter's making a run there, but pulled away. To the and he gets an Austrian flak panzer to try like to punish the infantry gunner. I don't think the infantry is really an issue at the moment. Again, the IS-2 is. The IS-2 is the much bigger threat at the moment. And I really have to question the amount of use an IS an Austrian can really do now. But there we go. Nice hit for the pack 40. Forces back the IS-2 rather rapidly. The Flak Panzer for Ostwind, one of the many Flak Panzers the Germans used, the whole role, they never really had that huge numbers of them. They most relied for self propelled anti aircraft. They actually relied on half tracks, usually the Schwerer ones, the heavy ones, the Opel Maultier, usually was sort of mounted on them there. Some were also mounted on Opel Blitz trucks, and some were actually mounted on sort of, you know, half tracks here, in sort of different configurations, though one by the Let War was the flak drilling, which actually utilized sort of aircraft machine guns in a triple mode. Actually quite devastating. Also look kinda cool. We are there you go, and oh here we go! Yes. Cruz is actually shifting the avenue of his approach, he knows he can't attack through here, so instead he's going towards the much more open ground, going to launch assault from there. Well played! Well played! Now this is good strategic realization of what's going on, instead of trying to attack through a narrow village, is it going to charge through the open plains? 
And also because he's likely expecting his opponent to be panicking all the way towards there again. He's also realized, you know, he's completely unprepared up here for major assault up north. Good job there. And of course that's going to force the screw to have to shift everything towards here. But we do see the machine gun bunker here doing the trick, holding up the infantry at least for some time being. Panzers and Pioneers up here. Ooh, Kanskip needs to retreat. And we could see a crew suffering a heavy loss right now. Eventually see Kanskip. There we go. That definitely hurts. Mortar under fire. Kanskip's getting pinned down and murdered. And before you eventually flee, holding up the center. MG Bunker in an awful lot of trouble. What will he be doing? Stuart moving in, but the Panzer IV really should also be there. And we're seeing a field gun setting up. This is going to be bad, this is going to be bad. Oh, Stuart took a hit there, Veteran to one. Shot bounced off the rear. Target wing point, target wing point. Ah, oh, there we go. Let's Might be able to get the field gun right there. And then we go in fact the field gun got utterly destroyed. Focus on the IS-2, I'm screwed up, focus on the IS-2. IS-2 taking a nice bit of damage there. Panzer four there. Oh, field gun here in a bad position. Stug needs to pull back. Needs to pull back. Obscura. Another target weak point. Don't be so close though. Oh, he's too slow. Pulling back too slow. Nine. And there we go. Destroyed. Kaput. Panzer four making a nice flank, but at the same time he's dealing with an IS two. It's not veteran enough. And there we go. Veterans one flank. Panzer moving in. Packs are nowhere to be seen, they should have probably been brought up much earlier. Panzer 4 is dead meat, I would say. Now we go. Mine went off, I think, by the looks of it. Pack 40 moving up, but now much too close. No target weak point. And now more heavy armor being called in. He might be lacking severely in infantry, but now he's definitely got the armor advantage. Besides, two with the field gun support was able to wipe out the majority of Obscura's armor, in particular Obscura's veteran armor. And with that, he really just came back there from the brink of defeat. Enemy forces capturing supply sector. Had Obscura been a bit more judicious, he could have gotten the nice too, but instead. Now his front line is open. We have 200 points remaining. And now we're sort of seeing that the initial tank, the one that made the break of the lines, is now being followed up by tanks to exploit the breakthrough. The T-3485s. And there we go. And it's got wiped out. This is absolutely catastrophic. Mortifying away. 29 kills, by the way. Impressive. Getting another Stug. MB42 needs to get away. And it's his fancy is losing it. Self repairs on the way. More packs on the way. He did manage to drain up a lot of Cruz's victory points, but at the same time, one has one of it's enough. Stug misses. More conscripts on the way, more infantry. The enemy has our range! T-3045 here taking a nasty bit of damage. And we get a trouble dealing with the might of the zombie shoots. And he rams it! He rams it! Man to succeed actually. Albeit very closely. And now the rest of the Soviet armor is slowly rowing back to life. This ice too, by the way, is disturbingly close to Vetch 2. There we go, T-3045, route up. We have lost one of our armored vehicles. 
Definitely been a bit of a heavy armor battle here on Zamoski today. Avtac takes one hell of a hit. He might finally lose it. There we go. This faithful Mittler Schützenpanzer Wagen is now a burning carcass. His dukes need to be repaired immediately and brought back into the fight. I assume him again from the north. Panzer is taking up to the inside of the house. There we go. Panzer strikes up. That was actually time to pop out. I'm sure for some time now. My apologies. Got so caught up in fighting. He's gone for Jaeger infantry. Finally, he made a doctrinal choice. And he went for Jaeger infantry. Nah, I can't help but feel that's another wrong one. Pack 40 setting up here. Target weak point. Too late again. Veterans are two for the IS2, which gives you increased accuracy and increased range. Definitely not what you want. Panzer's fighting. Oh, heavy loss right there, so we're trying to enter the building. Oh, and the IS2 just drives into the building, collapsing it upon poor Heinrich. That was nasty. IS2, though, is ready, but. What condition? Nice hit there from the IS2. Snipers have now arrived again for Cruz. Mortar wiped out as well. That IS2 is just on a killing spree. Mortar clutch actually knocking out the T-3045. Veteran T1. Rather carefully fight, he's getting another Panzer IV, but the guy is too still there. You need something? We are losing the sector. Madness and chaos reigns on the battlefield. We can also note still, I mean, killed. Still pretty close, but again, damage. The eyes too can, of course, absorb quite a bit, you know, so. In that regard, you know, we are seeing Obscura actually quite ahead in that regard, but, you know, not other regards, perhaps not so much as head. So in that regard, one should always keep in mind they are sort of more indicative, but never really you know, defining of who's actually eating. So again, the swords are built for absorbing more damage. Whereas the Germans are more made for dealing it. And the four moving up, MV42 here, a bit slow to set up. Quick Molotov. And the Ice 2 once more receiving self repairs. We're seeing tactical movement. Interesting, interesting. Country just getting murdered in front of Veteran 3 and 42. Heavy losses, heavy losses. Only one man makes it out of their life there. I assume almost defect the light. Then he's good trying to recruit that pack 40. Twenty-five points left here for Obscura. And now the Ice 2 is once more ready to beat Havoc. Moving in. Stu needs to turn about. Panzer 4 needs to pull back. Panzer Faust succeeds in penetrating and inspection 3. Panzer 4 needs to pull back. Pack 4 needs to be crewed as well. If only he'd gone for a stomach shots. If only. There we go, target weak point. Pack 4 to recruit! Right into the flank of the stool! But we do see that. Oh, never mind, the Ice 2 managed to knock it out! The 
this Ice 2 is definitely a beast on a rampage. And he managed to shoot through the wreckage, blowing up the Panzer Fort. Good use of attack ground. And now using the veteran's ability to take the point back. Well played here by Cruz. Overcoming adversity time and time again. Stu quickly getting. Oh well. Semi quickly getting recruited. Infantry squad has been killed. Slowly rolling ahead, firing all now on the IS-2. Uh, apparently Yuri there was a bit too eager to fire away. Another Panzer IV. Can't help but feel that. Oh, screw is not quite thinking things through here. Since he keeps getting more Panzer IV, just going to speed this up a bit. We are losing the sector. Once more tanks and movement sort of quickly rush the troops forwards. And oh, a bit trended here, sets it back with self repair, but at the same time, it's got a field gun covering it, so it's not all bad. Can he recruiting the pack 40? Can he do this? Can he do this? And again, there's kind of a bit of a bug, it seems, where he can't actually recruit or stop the self repairs once you've initiated. Tit. Oh, there we go. Precision strike takes care of the pack. And game over. A loss here to Cruz. A crushing victory. No, not a loss to Cruz, but a crushing victory to Cruz. A loss to there to Obscura. Uh, for some reason, I keep messing up the two names when I really shouldn't be doing so. It'd be unfortunate, but there you go. Rather brutal fight here. Obscura one stage, you know, looking ascendant, looking like he'd win, and then, you know... Some problems appearing. He was again, you know, one of those gentlemen who seems to be occasionally a bit stuck on just spamming Panzer IVs, not necessarily realizing again the Panzer IV is in some regards not what he was looking for. In particular, since he rather used them more like a Tiger tank. Rolls can the eyes. Who's again? Stormgate shoots would have been better. He should have had more troops out at the same time. And said he only got more than only got one at a time, which again in some regards hurt him. That alongside the lack of a doctor, you know, in the end, I think really crippled because then. He barely had any doctrine influence, and again, Cruz did, and he actually made pretty much full use of the doctrine in comparison, which really gave him several advantages over Obscura. There's definitely some problems there as well, and definitely probably something Obscura should be looking into. So, you know, Peg more quickly choosing a doctrine, making better usage of it, but also, you know, again, getting the right tool for the right moment, and again, Panther Force, unless they're very veterans, simply aren't going to cut it against an IS-2. And then you need packs. Stooks, or I need to go for Panthers. And since he wasn't going for that, you know, and again, he didn't hand gone for Spearhead or Mechanized Assault, and he was rather limiting himself in some regards, and ultimately, you know, making it easier for Chris to get back in the fight. Also, you know, once he actually had beaten that huge armored force, he was much too passive, he should be quick to expand, quick to get to Ministry on the field and begin grabbing territory. I think that was another his problem. But again, you know, Chris playing quite nicely, making good use of his doctrine overall. Being good use of his tanks, although again that engagement right there, I think was him pushing it too far. He should have pulled back instead of going to try to coordinate both eyes to which case he probably could have won. But nice play here by him, good use of snipers, penal troops, scout cars, and overall everything he had and actually in his way, and also good use of actually using a specified command alongside a support weapon campanera. Good use of combined arms, in fact, so really GG there. Well played by both, but even best played though by Cruz. So Hope you enjoyed this one. Hope you got some ideas for yourself now after looking at this one. Fight, you know. If you did, why not subscribe, tell your friends, share it with everyone. If you didn't, why not to be some feedback in the comments. This is Imperial Dane saying cheers.